Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the best new spring arrivals at Nordstrom. If you follow my channel for a while, you will know how much I love Nordstrom. They're pretty much my favorite store. This is not sponsored at all. They've just been having a lot of great new stuff for the new season. I actually ordered a little bit more than this, but I'm only showing in this video my absolute favorite. So these are the great key pieces which tie in with a lot of the trends happening for spring. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is this adorable little top and we've been seeing a lot of this kind of style which is that shorter style so it is usually a little bit cropped, not really necessarily with the intention of wearing it with like low waisted jeans but really wearing this with skirts so you get that nice kind of silhouette without any extra bulk around the midsection and this one has a little cap sleeve which is very very cute, ruching around the body and then you just have the cup detail around the top here. It's very sweet, very easy to wear as well because it does have a lot of stretch and this is the perfect thing to wear with any midi skirts that you have. You possibly even wear it with high-waisted jeans, anything that does have a higher waistline and this is perfect because you can just tuck it in or otherwise it just sits perfectly where your bottom meets. So these are ideal, it is super super cute and as it's black it will go with pretty much anything. Next up I have a couple of pieces which are tying into the puff sleeve trend. This one is absolutely everywhere at the moment. I feel like every piece that I'm looking at has some kind of sleeve detail, usually the puff sleeve variety and I have two great options here. So one's more suitable for kind of cold weather and then one's a really nice option for when it does get a little bit warmer. So this one is this gorgeous sweater and I do think this comes in two colors. I just went for the white one. It's this beautiful knit but it is quite lightweight as well so not too heavy duty and it has these gorgeous sleeves. So you do have that puff sleeve effect so that little rise right at the shoulder but then you also have this narrow arm. Very cute if you wanted to wear it kind of full length but you can also roll it up as well so you have that dual option and then it just goes straight down. Very cute with jeans, also good to team with skirts, even to layer over dresses if you wanted to. Just a really nice versatile option, especially in this beautiful white color. And then the other option I found, which is just a simple tee, but it's a tee with definitely a cute twist. This one also has the puff sleeve. It's quite a subtle puff sleeve though, so if you wanted to incorporate the trend but you didn't want to go too out there, I think this is an adorable way to do it. And you also have have this lovely polka dot pattern. Again, pretty subtle, so it's not super crazy and bold, but just enough to be right on trend. It's otherwise just a very simple white tee with the blue polka dots. And I thought this was adorable and another one that would be very cute with jeans, but also good with a skirt as well. And speaking of skirts, I have a great one right here. This is a side slit skirt. I know you guys have been loving the side slit skirts, as have I. I think it's so great, especially with a midi skirt length. You know, quite conservative, but then you do have that side slit, which makes it just a little bit more daring. I thought this was a beautiful version. So it is a floral print, but it's not overwhelmingly just suited for spring and summer, just because it does have that darker print. It's black all over with a beautiful white and kind of like a cherry red floral print. It is very flowy so the fabric is very light and swishy so it does have that beautiful movement and then you do have that great side slit as well just to show a little bit of leg. It is an elasticated waistband so it fits really nicely, very comfortable to wear and also just very easy to pull on. I think this is so cute, perfect with just a plain white t-shirt but also good with a bodysuit, with a sweater, just so many different options. I thought this was lovely. And now for a very, very spring appropriate one. I saw this print and just thought it was beyond lovely. So this is just a very simple white blouse and it has this stunning watercolor floral print. The colors are just beautiful so you have this olive green, this blue, a purple, just the loveliest spring palette. It's coming up very bright, um, but I will be doing the cutaways. And then it just has this stunning sleeve, so again with a sleeve detail, and then it just drapes down. It's very, very lovely, it has a nice bit of movement as well, and this is a really good one to go both from work to kind of casual time as well. You can dress it up with a pencil skirt for the office, but you can also just wear it with denims on the weekend as well. I'm always a huge fan of dual purpose pieces, and this is just a lovely example of that. Now for a beautiful vintage inspired dress. It's this stunning little number here. This so reminds me of Pretty Woman with this great color palette. So it does have that beautiful kind of burnt orange tone with the white polka dots all over. 
polka dots are a massive trend again this year. They always seem to come back, but in particular, they are everywhere, which I'm a huge fan of because polka dots are my favorite print ever. And this is just the most stunning dress. So the vintage element kind of comes in with the cut. So it is a little bit higher cut in terms of the neckline. You have those beautiful puff sleeves. It is fitted around the body and then it kind of flares out in an A-line and you do have this gorgeous side slit as well. And you also have this little cut out peekaboo effect on the back. So, so beautiful. If you like your vintage inspired dresses, this is definitely one to check out. But even if you don't, I think it's a lovely choice of spring and I pretty much adore Pretty Woman. So as soon as I saw this, I thought it was gorgeous. The color and the print is just so lovely. Next up is a dress which is a little bit more low key, but it's equally as lovely. The fit of this is so, so nice. So it is just a black and white print and it's very, very simple actually. So it does have a v-neck and then it just buttons all the way down and you do have a tie, which I believe you can wear either on the back or on the front. I think the front is more flattering though because it does just cinch in the waist in a really nice way. It is a longer style, so it is a kind of full on midi length style and it is fully lined as well. So it is beautiful quality. It is not see-through in any way. And then you do just have these beautiful sleeves as well, which are really quite short, but still a kind of proper sleeve as opposed to a sleeveless option. Really lovely. It is quite conservative, so there's nothing kind of too flashy about it, but it's just really, really pretty in its simplicity, I think. Just pair this with a really nice pair of heels and you just have a very elegant but sophisticated dinner date look. So lovely. I'm a huge fan of this, particularly the cut. Next up is a top, and I've actually been seeing a lot of this style of top everywhere. So it's this kind of mesh detail top, but only halfway. So the ones I've been seeing are kind of normal all the way through the body, just a regular blouse, but with this beautiful kind of semi see-through mesh area on the top. I think these are lovely. I've seen them in quite a few different stores and it's just such a lovely choice because it's really easy to pair with just a pair of jeans. If you wanted to do a pencil skirt, you could do, but if you also wanted to go even edgier with a faux leather skirt, I think that works as well. So another really nice example, which is super flexible and versatile. This particular one came in a few different colors, I believe. I just went for the navy, which I thought was lovely. It does have this kind of silky main body area, this beautiful semi-sheer mesh area at the top, and then you do have that beautiful hemming on the sleeve as well. I do think this one is best to wear with a strapless bra if you can, just to make sure that the shoulder area is completely undistracted by bra straps. I think it just makes for a cleaner look. But I thought this was really, really lovely, and again, just another really versatile piece. And again, continuing on that floral trend is this beautiful dress. And not only is this incorporating florals, but it's also hitting that purple color palette, which we're seeing so much of at the moment. I'm seeing so many variations of purple from lilac to lavender. I thought this was a really lovely example with the beautiful contrasting yellow as well. So this one is that midi length style and it does just have buttons all the way down. However, it is a zip style. So it zips up at the back. You do have ruching on the back as well, so you do have that nice adjustable fit. So it fits very close to the body, but it's actually very comfortable to wear. These adorable little cap sleeves, so, so cute. The button detailing on the front is just lovely. It just adds that extra little bit of attention to detail. And then it's fitted throughout the body, and then it just flares out as well. This is another one that is fully lined as well, so it completely opaque and just the loveliest thing. How perfect would this be for the upcoming spring season? Hopefully things will get back to normal sooner rather than later, um, but even if it's only for summer, I thought this was a lovely, lovely choice. Now for a top, which is white, so it's showing up very bright on camera, so I will do a quick cutaway, but this is incredibly lovely in its simplicity. You do have this lovely embroidered effect all the way down, which is very elegant and very timeless. Embroidered details are always just so lovely and they always seem to come back in style. You do have a very, very subtle puff sleeve detail right here, and it is a slightly longer sleeve which goes all the way down. The material is kind of like a crepe material, so it's very pretty, very nice to wear on, and very easy to tuck in as well. And I thought this was really just so lovely, especially if you wanted to team it with kind of tan accessories, just really incorporating that French girl style, which is very easy breezy, but very beautiful and elegant as well. Just such a lovely one, especially if you did want to dress casual, but you wanted something that still was very pretty and feminine, I think this is a beautiful choice. 
Now for another blouse and you may have gathered from this video that I love blouses and as much as I love a good dress and I really do, I think blouses are such a great item to invest in because they're just so versatile and you can get so much mileage out of them. You know, a good blouse should be able to see you from work to casual and also to a date night as well. And this one I thought was really lovely. So you have this great window pane effect. So there's a very subtle black on black check. So you really only notice the detail kind of up close it does have a very subtle ruffle effect on the neckline and it is a v-neck with this gorgeous button detail all the way down i always love a button detail it does tie at the waist as well and then you have a very subtle puff sleeve at the top with a cuff sleeved at the bottom of the sleeve so lovely another really pretty one again to wear the skirts you can team with jeans just so versatile and really really fresh and pretty and now for a sweater which is the softest thing in the world it's so lovely and even though we are heading into spring and summer where typically we begin to see a lot more brighter colors nude and brown shades seem to still be all the rage you know just going very very minimal with your look and i thought this was a really really pretty brown sweater which is not something i always say but it's actually a really lovely shade especially if you do have a lot of neutrals in your wardrobe this is just a really nice one to play around with in terms of different shades and tones it's very very soft so the feel is just incredible it isn't too heavyweight as well so it's perfect for around this time of year where you do just want a kind of light layer it is a slightly higher neck but it's not a roll neck or anything like that and you do have this subtle kind of flare sleeve but it's not too much so it doesn't flare out in a crazy way it's just slightly wider than usual a very beautiful fit for very comfy to wear and just a really nice kind of relaxed style just to pair with a white pair of skinnies and I think this is just the cutest look. And then finally for my very last piece, I have this black top which doesn't hit too many trends but I feel like the design is so striking that it's just going to be one of those things I have in my wardrobe for years and I just reach for over and over again. So there's nothing too fancy about the overall design, it's just a simple black top. But the neckline is what makes it really special. So you do just have this gorgeous knot effect right to the sides, it's kind of asymmetrical but it is so pretty, it looks amazing on. It is that kind of slinky fabric as well, so it's really easy to tuck in. This is going to be more one for skirts rather than denim for me, um, but you probably could team it with both. You do just have a simple long sleeve design, and I thought this was so, so gorgeous. Very elegant, very striking as I said, and just one of those pieces which is just gonna be so timeless. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below, but if you do have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and healthy. I think it's so important just to try and take this one day at a time and try to keep your spirits up and just be kind to one another. If you have any video requests for me, let me know and I'll try and film what I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.